How y'all doing? I'm back for my second video review. Uh, once again, thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully, you leave a comment and review. We'll discuss it later. But my second review is on a movie called Annihilation. It comes out Friday the 23rd. I saw it Wednesday the 21st. Um, it's about two hours long. It's a thriller fantasy. It's based off of best-selling novels, a trilogy called um, Annihilation. And the movie stars uh, Natalie Portman and Gina Rodriguez. Shout out to Gina Rodriguez for the transformation she took to be in the movie because I didn't recognize her. I had to Google it after the movie. But um, so yeah, the movie's based off this book. And it's about this lady and her husband. Her husband was gone for a year. And they were both in the army and she did seven years and he was still on and he was gone for a year and she thought he was dead because she couldn't get any answer from his unit and he pops back up just out the blue one day while she's painting the bedroom and the movie goes from there and uh it goes on to her finding out why he was gone and doing what he did while he was gone. I don't want to spoil it for you because it hasn't came out yet, but while he was gone and she went on the same mission. And on this mission, before she went, she met three other ladies. And those three other ladies um, went with her on this mission. And I'm just going to be honest with you. Movie stunk. Movie was terrible. I mean, only thing good about it was the acting. And I didn't recognize Gina Rodriguez. Not even put as one of my favorite actresses, but movie stunk. I mean, I'm not going to recommend it to you. Um, but if you're into thrillers and fantasies and you read the book, then you'll probably go see it and you'll have your own critique on it. But I didn't enjoy the movie. Um, I went with a friend of mine and I was telling her, like, this might be one of the worst movies we've ever seen. Um, and I'm usually the one who doesn't like anything and she didn't like it either. So the movie's pretty bad. Any good from the movie besides the acting? It was colorful. Um, there's a couple of scenes in there. If you're a jumpy person, you might get scared. I'm a squeamish person. So a couple of times I put my head down and, you know, I don't like looking at blood and seeing people injured and things like that. So a couple of times I was here with mines, but I'm going to keep it real with you. It's not going to be a long review. Um, one out of ten, I give it a three for the actor. Um, it starts off very, very slow, and how it started off and it started to pick up a little bit towards the going to the middle of the movie. I was like, oh, maybe it's not gonna be bad, but it went downhill fast. Um, I just I can't give you anything to go on as far as why you should see the movie. If you don't like movies, if you like movies that don't make sense, then go ahead. I mean, if you read the book, it's going to make sense to you. But to me, it made no sense. And it just wasn't a great movie. And at the end of the day, I just would like you to know that this could be a waste of your time. This could be something you might not enjoy. But, I mean, Natalie Portman, what can you say? She always does her, her best when she acts. Gina Rodriguez, you know, seeing her bigger like that um it was quite interesting that's the first time i seen her do anything outside of the you know norm of nice pretty dainty girl or living at oh i'm in love life so that was i was interesting to see her take on that role and uh the ending of the movie wasn't any better um i would like to say oh so, something Okay, I'll give you something good about it. There are sex scenes in the movie. Um, weren't great, but there's sex scenes in the movie. Um, so that's about it. I can't really give you much more than that. Like always, leave a comment. Let me know how you thought, what you felt. Um, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I kept this vague. Um, it comes out the 23rd. It's called Annihilation. It's two hours long. So once again, if you read the book, it's a trilogy. Go see it. If not, or you want to, you know, want to know more about the movie, I'll happily tell you, but I don't want to spoil it before it come out. And I uh, appreciate everything. And remember, eat more chicken.